Okay, so this is this is my fascial release, and basically, it it works quite deeply but very slowly and releases the tension in the fascia as well as the muscle. But basically, it's starting by warming up the back. So I would release the same in the neck. And then I'd do some trigger point therapy into the occiput, which releases one of the major back muscles. So this is where they attach, and this is where a lot of people, um, problems like they suffer from headaches, migraines, and a lot of it stems from the point at the top of the neck at the base of the skull. The whole session takes about an hour. Um, it depends on sort of whether, if the pain is specific to the, the back, neck and shoulders, it will be, it will, the whole hour will take that time. This is basically trigger point therapy and it just um, targets the tightness in the muscle. So there are little adhesions in the muscle and it holds it for about 10 seconds. to allow the muscle to soften and release. So basically, I just palm down either side of the spine, which warms up the tissue, but also gives me an idea where there may be some tightness or restriction in the tissue. But as muscle, muscles also have referral pain patterns, so sometimes there can be, um, for example, you could have a pain around the sacrum, which is at the bottom of the back, which could actually come from a, from a problem in the calf muscle. So it allows me to sort of find where there's restrictions, not only um, where the client has told me there's pain, but in other areas of the body, which may relate to, to that problem. So I always finish the client with a cranial hold, which is just really gentle hold of the head, which allows basically for the body to rebalance I'm working with the fluid in the spinal column basically and it's just a very gentle hold and it helps the body resettle itself and rebalance and it can be really really relaxing even if you only do it for a couple of minutes. So it's like if a client has had um, has got quite a few trigger points in their body and has got quite a, quite a lot of pain this helps, this is something quite nice and gentle at the end of the treatment that helps the body settle down. Okay, so I'm gonna start off at the head and this is an opportunity for me to attune to the energy of Reiki as well. Um, but also to start attuning to my client's energy and just to start assessing how it is today, how it is in the here and now. So sometimes I have my eyes open or closed, depending on how long that takes. But generally, I'll be working down the body, hands on, and spending anything from three to five minutes at each chakra point. 
So here I'm working at the crown chakra. We have the third eye in the throat here. So I'm working on the thyroid. So generally the focus of a Reiki session is to balance all the chakras. And the chakras are energy centers which are held on the main energy channel which runs parallel to our spine or our central nervous system. And as well as that, each chakra point directly is associated with a gland in the endocrine system. So by stimulating these chakra and energy centers energetically, there, there are direct physical benefits associated with the receiving of the energy as well. So it really can balance and harmonize the hormone system and, and the organ function, as well as relax the central nervous system, which can be affected by so many things within everyday life. So here I'm focusing on the heart centre, but also on the solar plexus. And these really are known as the feeling centres. So working on that emotional level here, for balancing, then I may spend anything up to five minutes at these areas before then continuing to move down the body where I'll finish with some grounding. <laughs> 